What's up guys, finally version 1.78 of Nomscope is out. To celebrate it, I decided to update my previous tutorial on how to create hair cards. In this new tutorial, I developed a technique that only used Nomad Scope, no outside apps, and it's so much faster than the previous one. So let's go to it. Okay guys, first let's start by creating the hair itself. Let's delete the default sphere, select the tub tool, go into the top view. We are going to create our first strand of hair. So uh, vertical line, confirm it. First, let's decrease the number of polys, because as this head, this hair will be copied many, many times, it's better to keep the topology low, okay? Create the hair, less thinner a little bit, like this. Uh, in the tub editing, let's create some dots, change to spline to get more more smooth curves and let's create a little bit of randomness in this first hair strand okay a little bit of curves okay let's see it's a little bit thick let's thinner a little bit okay fine now let's validate it and the process is the same as the previous tutorial we are going to copy these strands of hair changing a little bit uh, the position, the size, and offsetting some some values in that area. I will fast forward so you can see the process, and we continue from there. Okay guys, now that we have our hair, let's set up the render. Uh, this process is made to be really simple to create a pretty good, uh, pretty decent hair card that will give you a, a, a good and, and pretty usable, usable result. So how we can do that? First, we are going to create a plane that will go behind these hair, these hairs that we create. So let's resize the plane roughly at the size of the of the hairs okay like this maybe a little bit to cover let's switch to the gizmo and place it behind the hairs so we don't have any uh, particular st strand crossing this plane let's change the geometry of the plane to the lowest value possible which is zero so we have just one poly okay now let's round up the plane geometry size we hear that size x is 0.8 let's round up to 0.1 and size y let's round up to 2 so we have the uh, good ratio to work when we are we are recreating this we are setting up the the, the hair card later Let's switch to three. I don't like this this proportion. Three and 0.5. Let's see if we get a better result. I don't think we need to. Three by two. You can do this too. Do a, a proportion that you see that fits better into your hair. Then just resize it with the gizmo. Three. And let me lock it on the top view and resize with the gizmo to fit. Isn't really good. Let me give it a little bit of height, two by five, let's say. Let's resize it. Okay, that's fine. That's a good number, two by five. Okay. Now we have our plane behind our hairs. Let's go to the geometry tab right here. 
under MISC. Let's make sure that our plane is selected. Let's validate it. The, the options will, doesn't, doesn't, will not show to you if you are not validate your plane. Validate it. Under MISC, you are going to find this option, Bake Texture. Make sure that your hair, in my case is this object, is the first object on the scene hierarchy. Because a Nomad will use this first object as a, a high resolution model to bake the normal map, the normal information, which is the, the, the geometry of each strand of hair. You bake this information on our plane. Let's go back to the geometry tab under MISC. Go to the select again the plane. Go to the bake texture settings. Make sure that just normal, the normal checkbox is marked. And let's do a bake. Okay, you see that it's finished. Let's hide our hair to just see our plane. You see here that we remain with just one poly. But now we have normal information that responds to light. That's it here. But we are not going to use this plane. It will be really hard to line up the opacity map if we, we just try to bake the opacity map on this map. So to make this a normal map, an image normal map, we're going to use this inspect function under the lower right uh, menu here. Uh, you can press and hold and check if normal is selected and uh, if on background is marked you are going to unmark it and uh, check if on mesh is marked okay like this here on the screen you have the normal map itself then we are going to render this these are going to be our normal map to set up the render let's go to the projects tab scroll down to the render select custom and remember that we set up the ratio of two by five i like to work with uh, a base of 1024 as our base to to work from there so let's say uh if we are going to to simplify the the the, the fraction it will be two by five is the same as one by 2.5 and if our, our base are 1024, we are going to set the width to 1024 and the height to 2.5 times that. Uh, it's already 1048, we just need the 0.5 extra, which would be uh, 512. Uh, let me do the math here. Okay, 2560. Okay. My math is sucks. Sorry about that. Okay. Now let's position our plane. Let's lock the top view by double tapping and tapping and holding on this view cube on the right top panel. Okay. Every time you activate the projects tab, it will show you these black bars, which are the render area. So let's position our plane to fit under that fit inside that that area so i will zoom a little bit okay i will leave this space because when we add the opacity map uh, the the plane will just show what is white on the opacity map which is the hair strands itself so everything is outside this render area won't be affecting the hair card when we are setting uh, the hair card up so I will render like this. Don't worry, that's a little bit uh, off. I will export it and save the image. Okay. Now, just to be safe, let's create a view. Create a camera under the camera tab, add a view. Now this place is locked. If I accidentally move the camera, I can just tapping this view here. You will go back to the to this camera as this as it said it right now so let's uh, set up our second map which will be the opacity map and just our previous tutorial i'm going to change the shading mode to unlit and i will turn off the inspect function in the lower toolbar 
okay? I am saying all white because our plane is visible. I will hide the plane and show the hair strands like this. So you can see the hairs are shaded white and we need uh, a full black background. So we are going to the background tab and set the background to a full black. Then we just need to make a render and save. Okay, these are all the maps you need to make this simple version of the hair card, which will give you a pretty decent result. Now, now let's set up the the hair card, so you can see the 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 result, and you can see how it res responds to light, and how you can give some color uh, and some tips, so you can place the hair card on your on your objects. So let me hide it. Let's switch again to the lit PBR mode. That's me lighting light a little bit the the background, and let's add a plane. Okay. Plane is here. Okay, let me turn off the wireframe. Uh, let's use the same ratio as we used before. That we that word two by five. Two on X and five on Y. Let's reduce the plane topology. I like to to in the, the first level of detail of the, the hair card. I always like to leave uh, a cut, uh, vertical, uh, one vertical cut on the mesh, and at least two or three uh, uh, horizontal cuts. So I'll turn off this this lock function, and I'll change the division on the y-axis to three. Okay, here I will validate it. Now let's set up the texture. Let's go to the Material tab, the first thing is to change the smooth shading to on. I will show you uh, how it affects the, the final result. Then let's set up the normal map. In the normal, let's go to the, let's tab on the, the white square. Let's select from photos and select our normal map. As you see, as you can see, the light is affecting the normal map, okay? And as I said, we have this border that was rendered, but don't worry. Now let's go back to the to the material tab under the opacity. Let's set up the opacity map. Okay. Fine. Now we have some white hairs that respond to light. To to give it a tint, go to the painting tab and select a color. Let's make it a little bit blonde this time. I would like to make it really shiny. It's give that uh, hair hair feeling, a little bit of oily hair, or I, I think is it will give you a better result. Let's paint. Okay. Uh, now let's turn off the wireframe, and with the move tool, you can position your hair card and make some adjustments. If you notice that the normal map is too strong, you can always lower it, lower it in this option, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't have a, a, a too harsh of a result. But as you can see, it's a pretty decent result. As I was setting uh, the smooth shading turned off, you end up with this changing planes uh, too marked too. Abruptly, abruptly, shit, <laughs> this is a hard word. So we turn on smooth shading, we'll give you a, a, a better result. So uh, I know I promised you the, the how to set up the, a character with these hair cards. Uh, it will be a, a, a really complex tutorial, so I'm really trying to, to digest the, the information to, to make it uh, easy to you so with this technique you can already try some things and place this on your character hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i see you in the next time